outside the alignment and just being able to listen, what are some of the biggest struggles that you're seeing inside of offices like boots on the ground right now? Um, right now, I am seeing that, you know, teams are in a negative place um, <clears throat> just because of staffing. Um, you know, they're, they're hearing a lot of negativity, they're hearing that white noise. Um, and I think we're able to turn it around pretty quickly. Um, you know, and I'll give you an example. You know, I said, you know, I went into office the other day and I said, you know, we're so short staffed, you know, it's really difficult. And I said, well, why is it difficult? Let's look at let's look at the systems and let's see how we can make it on difficult. And one of the systems that we put in place was, you know, let's look at how we're scheduling. Let's not stress this out. Um, let's make it, a, you know, it has to be good for your customer coming through the door because the yep. customer feels the stress. So I sat the team down and I said, OK, you're now the customer. What should we do? How should we fix it? And we made 10 point bill of points and we put those systems in place and they are a couple of days in and they're saying, we already see that we can really do this. So let's, let's, let's be problem solvers. Um, and, and when you teach them to problem solve their own problems, um, you know, it's, 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 they feel engaged and they feel mm -hmm. like they're solving it. Um, so you have, you have a lot of yeah, positivity. Absolutely. I, in that. I think one of the biggest lessons that I've learned as a, as a leader is that if I go in and solve the problem every time, then I'm actually crippling that individual from being able to make decisions and grow and get better. Um, it's almost like you have to let people kind of fail and then figure it out and grow. Um, and I know that can be hard sometimes when you have live action patients going right there. So I, I love the way you approach that.